This is a spring loaded shooter. Put in an arrow, aim it and it flies through your room. Well, I happen to have 400 of them. So let's take a look what we can do with these. These pieces have been around since 2014 and have ever since been in more than 200 sets. So you could say they are essential to every modern play set almost. The arrows are available in 11 different colors. And if you have seen my previous video, you know where I got all of the shooters from. Each of the new 501st battle packs contains one of these shooters. But if you want more of them, you can also go on Bricklink and just buy them. They are not that expensive, fortunately. But before we start with the crazy part, let's start with the basics. How does this shooter work? Well, you can see it consists of two different parts which are clipped together. I opened that up with a screwdriver and once we had that, you can see there is just a spring inside of it and nothing more. The arrow just slides in, clicks in with the back part of the arrow and then you can simply shoot it wherever you want. This is a genius design if you ask me. And here is another tip. The arrows have the exact same size as every other accessory you can put in the hand of your minifigure. So you can act like they are just loading up their tanks. But let's get to the fun part. As every other kid would do, I built a tower with all of these shooters. Kind of successful. I couldn't build it higher because it would just collapse in that case. And as you can see here, I tried to fire it up. That didn't work as great either because I pushed down my hand too fast and the arrows just got stuck in the middle. You need to have a certain angle to push down all these arrows. As you can see here in the next clip, I tried it with a smaller tower again. And wow, I can't even stress how satisfying that was. That's why I built another contraption with a train. Yes, you heard that correctly. We're going to use train tracks. The wagon is designed fairly simple, I have to admit, but it works. I added this little pillar next to the tracks. It makes exactly this movement you need to do with your hand, but with a slope built from Lego bricks and attached underneath. So if we push this spring loaded shooter wagon next to it, all of the arrows get released and we can fire in a straight line. I built five more of these contraptions, put them on the track and then we can start to push. But first I set up the AAT and some droids for our clone troopers over here to shoot at. That's one, that's one. As you can see now, as I start to push down the wagons, this is just so freaking satisfying. All the arrows going at the AAT, shooting this down. Couldn't have imagined a better way of this to work. And as you can see here next part, all the mess, this just happened. The arrows are literally going everywhere. But luckily for this fella, he just survived. I don't know why he didn't fall over. The arrows just kept missing him. In the next frame, you can see my crucial mistake. Oh, it would have been perfect, but I lost some of the spring loaded shooters here in this corner. That's because I didn't push in the right angle. So what you have seen until now was the light stuff. Now we get on to what we all want to see. 400 of them fired at the same time. To do that, my friend Marcus built a giant wall of them, 20 by 20 stacked on another. You can see the speed build. We added a little frame around it, so all of them are a little bit more stable. One of the shooters we built in this wall didn't work. The arrow just won't be able to get in. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you, it was so hard to resist my urge not to push down all of them at once. I thought it would be funny to fire all of them at Bowser. I mean, he's kind of as big as all of them stacked together. Nine, small eins. <laughs> Yes, Bowser survived this attack. My construction for the spring-loaded shooters, not so much, and about 20 of them didn't fire properly. That's less than 5%, so I guess I'm okay with that. I like how simple LEGO made it to operate them, and maybe this video is a chance for them to consider releasing a set with 100 or even 400 of them. I can only recommend you to try this yourself. It's just so much fun.